Genting Malaysia saw some 3.15 billion ringgit wiped off from its market cap after its share price plunged 14.7 percent or 53 cent in early morning trade to 3 ringgit and 8 cent. By market close, the counter had trimmed some of its losses to end at 3 ringgit and 18 cent, but this was still 12% lower than yesterday's close. This means it has lost 2.6 billion ringgit in market cap in one day. Genting Malaysia was Bursa's most actively traded stock of the day, with over 256 million shares changing hands. The stock moved on the news that Genting Malaysia had taken a 46% stake in Empire Resorts, a Nasdaq-listed gaming and entertainment company from Genting Group Chairman Tan Sri Lim Kote via Kian Huat Realty 3. To recap, Genting Malaysia said it had signed a binding term sheet with Kian Huat for its unit Genting USA to carry out the purchase, which the group said will be paid for by internal funds. Hong Leong Investment Bank today downgraded Genting Malaysia from buy to hold with a lower target price of 3 ringgit and 79 cent from 4 ringgit and 21 cent previously as it foresees short-term earnings erosion following the acquisition. MRCB Quill Reed saw its net property income for the second quarter of FY19 drop 12.4% to 29.5 million ringgit from 33.7 million ringgit previously due to lower income from its properties Platinum Central, Wisma Technip and Quill Building 5. The previous year's corresponding quarter also recognised a gain from the disposal of Quill Building 8 DHL. Revenue for the quarter also came in 10.3% lower at 39.2 million ringgit. Despite the softer numbers, MQ REIT still declared an income distribution of 3.43 cent per unit. For the first half of FY19, NPI dipped 9.3% to 61.9 million ringgit, while revenue was also down 8% to 80.9 million ringgit. MRCB Quill Management Chairman Tan Sri So Chubun says the group expects the operating environment for office space in Klang Valley to remain challenging due to oversupply. On a more positive note, CEO Yong Su Lin says it has secured new leases of approximately 123,000 square feet for a few of its properties, with demand coming from oil and gas, IT, services and retail. MQ Reed managed to record an 88% renewal rate for leases expiring in the second quarter of 2019, as well as advanced lease renewals of about 185,000 square feet of leases expiring end of 2019. MCOP Properties is looking to acquire four of its blocks within Shanghai's Dunning International Commercial Plaza for 1.5 billion renminbi or 865 million ringgit. In a boss filing, MPROP says the buy is to make way for the group's expansion in high-growth commercial real estate in Shanghai. MPROP's maiden entry into Shanghai was via its core investment with Chelsfield in July 2018, where it acquired five floors of strata offices in Allen Tower. The office blocks are located in Dunning, an established decentralized area in Jingan district. To facilitate this purchase, MPROP's unit MCOP Dynamic will take up a 40% stake in JV Dunning Partners for 22.95 million US dollars or 96.18 million ringgit. Other partners in the JV are Chelsfield Asia Fund 1 with a 30% stake, KHI Overseas with a 15% stake, and JRN Holdings with a 15% stake. New lead market entrant the Ines Group says it aims to export its bird nest products to Dubai and New Zealand in the near future. Group CFO Christopher Tan Yu Leong says there has been demand for bird nests from the Middle East. The group currently exports its products to China, Australia, Singapore and Taiwan besides catering to the Malaysian market. China is Ines's main revenue contributor, comprising 91.1% of the group's FY18 sales. This is followed by Malaysia at 3.4%, Singapore at 3.1% and Hong Kong at 2.4%. Ines shares opened at 9 cent, 1 cent above its issue price with 60,000 shares traded, valuing it at 37.2 million ringgit. It raised 4 million ringgit from its IPO, 40% of which was earmarked for working capital, while the rest will be split between R&D, capital and brand development and other listing expenses. The stock rose 1 cent to settle at 10 cent.
Singaporean bank OCBC Bank has bought into KL-based accounting firm YYC Group. YYC Executive Chairman Yap Zee Chow says the exercise will involve the purchase of no more than 20% stake by OCBC via OCBC Bank Malaysia and Lion OCBC Capital Fund 1. Post-acquisition, the existing YYC Group management will remain as major shareholders while OCBC acts as an advisor to the accounting firm. YYC CEO Datin Yap Shin Siang says the firm will utilise the investment from OCBC to acquire more businesses in the areas it operates in as well as on marketing activities. YYC was first set up in 1974 and serves 20,000 clients currently in KL, Selangor, Johor, Penang and Singapore. It aims to be listed within five years on the stock exchanges of Malaysia, Singapore and Hong Kong.